Hey everybody, so in this video we're going to be talking about probability distributions and expected value. So starting off, we're going to talk about probability distributions. So a probability distribution is the probabilities that different outcomes will occur in a scenario. The probability of any one event is its frequency divided by the total frequency. So frequency just means how often does that possibility come up. So in order to do those, it's just the normal probability. So the basic probability that we already did earlier, that's how we're calculating that. Now the mean of a probability distribution, that's going to be kind of the newer part. The mean of a probability distribution is the sum of the probability of each event multiplied by its value. Okay. So for these first two examples, we're just going to be constructing a probability distribution just so you can see what this table is actually going to look like, and then we'll talk about the mean afterwards. So for example one, we have the values that are up here, so the x's, these are all the values. All right, the frequency is how many times each value pops up. So for example, the value 2 pops up three times. The value 8 pops up nine times. Now we're not told what actual game we're playing or anything like that, so we don't know where these numbers are coming from, and that's fine. We just need to figure out the probability for each. So to do that, the first thing that we need to do is we just need to add up all of the frequencies. So this entire row, 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 9 plus 4 plus 16 would get us 50. All right, that's our total frequency. So now for p of x, this is the probability that x happens. All right, so for each of these, we just take the frequency, which is the number of times that that value pops up, and divide it by our total frequency, which we've already found. So for the first one, it'd be 3 out of 50, which would be 0 0.06. For the second one, it would be 6 out of 50, which would be 0.12. Then 12 out of 50 would be 0.24. 9 out of 50 would be 0.18. 4 out of 50. 0 0.08, and lastly, 16 out of 50 will be 0.32. And that's it. That's our entire probability distribution. So it's just the values up top, and then the probability that those values happen, which we calculated in this row. All right, so example two. So again, we're just going to be constructing a probability distribution, so we need to find all of those probabilities for each of those blanks. So again, start off by adding up all of your frequencies. So 23 plus 30 plus 5 plus 35 plus 45 plus 12. Add all of those up and you should get 150. So for each of these down here, we're just going to be taking the frequency, so 23, and putting it over the total frequency, which would be 150. So for that one, we're going to get 0.15. And again, we're going to be just rounding all of these to do decimal places. All right, for the second one, it would be 30 out of 150, which would get us 0.20. 
then 5 out of 150 would be 0 0.03. 35 out of 150 would be 0.23. 45 out of 150 we get us point three and 12 out of 150 would be point zero eight. All right, example three. Now we're gonna be finding the mean of a probability distribution. So in order to find the mean of a probability distribution, we take the value and we multiply it by its probability. And then we just add all of those numbers up. All right, so for example three, the number of web cartridges a Spider-Man goes through in a single day, we have zero through four cartridges, and then the probability that he's gonna go through that many cartridges in a single day. All right, so here's what we do. We take zero, which is our value, and we multiply it by 0.132. Then the second one, we have one, we multiply it by its value, 0.358. Then 2 times 0.316. 3 times 0.149. And 4 times 0 0.045. Then we're going to add all of those up. So you can just put this entire line in your calculator exactly how it is. Just make sure you use the parentheses whenever you're multiplying all these and then add them all up. Whenever you do that, you should come up with 1.617. All right, now here's what that actually means. It means that in a single day, Spider-Man on average is going to go through 1.617 web cartridges. So one and about two thirds of a second one. All right, that's what the mean of a probability distribution does. It takes essentially the average on a normal day, how many will he go through? Sometimes he won't go through any, sometimes He'll go through four, which is much larger than what we have here. But on average, he's gonna go through about 1.6 web cartridges in a single day. That's what the mean does, it just finds an average. So in the next video, we're gonna talk about expected value. So right about now, you should be seeing a link pop up to the next video, so go ahead and click on that so you can go find it. All right, see you in the next video.